Hi guys and welcome back to our vlog and this time we are exploring scenic villages of Andalusia, Spain. What do you think about that? I love... I love goat cheese. What can I think about that? It's great. And you have... It looks like the young cheese, some older cheese and a very old goat cheese. Maybe we really should get some. Why should we look inside? found lots of defenders here. Punta de Andalusia, a consultoria del medio ambiente, at environmental our department car. Would you like to work for environmental department of Andalusia? Though it's so funny, it's about environment and we know the gas emissions of defender. Well, I suppose, but you might want to add that if this car is really old, which it might be, then it's better than buying a new one every few years just because they have less emissions. Well, they are planning to put an electric motor like you do. Balti wants to put an electric motor in his Land Rover. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's red. So that, you know. But that's what traffic lights that's... do. Oh, yes. <laughs> they do have traffic lights in the very um, tight roads where you couldn't possibly pass one another. And since you can't also, also can't see very well, they have traffic lights too organize and help with the traffic flow a little bit. Oh, it does look spectacular. We are in Ronda now. Um, Ronda is quite more busy than in Sahara. And we are looking to find a lovely bridge here.
is a stable with um, chandeliers and everything. It's the King's College for um, riding instructors, I guess. I want to enroll. <laughs> Stable that it's wonderful with all the beautiful horses they have. And other than that, we haven't actually seen too much here. We go and explore. We need to go and explore the city, Marcos de Fontela. surrounded by mountains and the heat stays there and here we are on the mountains and you have a nice fresh wind it should be so pleasant in summer
This is uh, the tree they make cork from for all the lovely wine bottles that we want to consume. This is um, the cork material. The bark of this tree is used to make corks for the wine bottles. You can see that they are all uh, cut off at the bottom. Ripped off, I don't know. Uh, yeah, they carefully slice them off, I'm sure. And then they regrow for a decade or something like that before they can be cut out again. Before they can be uh, used again. greatest delicacies in Spain is made from the poor pigs over there. The happy pigs. I'm sure they're happy living here, so keep on cooking.
What do you think? Hmm? What do you think of this place? Ah, it's a nice place. If I ever saw one. Really lovely laid back village. And so quiet. I love that it's quiet. found a Michelin star restaurant and uh, naturally we have to order a few things and try how good this is. It's actually we are so surprised to find this restaurant like really in the smallest little village here in the Sierra de Huelva and we are eager to find out why they have a Michelin star. I can show the buying card. This, 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 this. This, this. <laughs> oh, got it on. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. And we got our recommendation to take the mousse de limon. The mousse de limon. So, the place we're at. Ja, halt, Arieros Place. Everything cooks so nice with these yellow flowers. Doesn't it? Another overgrown street. Outdoor. Another tangerine tree. Isn't it beautiful? I would imagine Hobbiton to be like this. I thought Hobbiton would be rather tidy with perfectly mowed lawn. And what do you guys think Hobbiton looks like? Leave a comment below. Some blossoming trees and now it's still February. I don't know what February is like in your country, but in Berlin it's everything's grey and rainy, still no sun. And here we already have spring. But always a dream is to dream of mine to do a spring tour. Just to start somewhere like south of Europe, like here. Lucia and then just slowly travel northwards and then you'll probably have spring in June somewhere in L L Lapland. Yes. This is the end.